Hello, this is Abina at Cross Keys Crafts. Today I'm inviting you into my mess here on my craft table. This is not a tutorial today, this is just a little bonus video to give you some inspiration because I had the inspiration this week um, to start with to explain where the inspiration came from. I decluttered my cards that I had made and I offered them to the ladies in my local craft group and the ones that weren't taken one lady said she could take them to a care home that her, I believe her auntie is in. So when I found this magazine in my stash this week I thought this is a great opportunity to just make some more or make some Christmas cards, the others were mostly birthday cards, to actually donate to this care home for the elderly people who can't get out and buy Christmas cards. So I thought this would be really great to use. I bought this when this was on offer half price quite a while ago, probably over a year ago. And um, yeah, so I thought now I start using these things up. So this is not an enticement for you to buy stuff really, but to use what you have in your stash. And this is great. This has loads of bits. I'll show you what it is. It's a selection of these um, topper bits that are actually made for, I think it's also called decoupaging where you put layers on top. This is the only one I haven't taken apart yet. I've already made quite a few where I've layered the elements and this is always great for me. If I've got a quiet bar shift in my pub, I can easily do these behind the bar. Um, all I did was pop them out and then I had to cut a few bits off where they were connected to the cardstock. So I've done this, I've prepared this, I, I'm, I'm just giving you a few tips along the way. So I'm keeping these in a tray so that they don't, don't get lost. Um, this set also came with all these sentiments, so but these have to be cut with scissors or with dies. Probably scissors is a quicker option. I've also got these toppers, they need to be cut apart. There are some strips I can use, so that was actually a good bargain. And the other thing I have done, I have just cut from a four card stock, I have cut um, card bases. Again, another tip is to bulk make those. I like to make mine top folding. So uh, these are four inches wide and just under six inches because I've cut them from A4 cardstock. So just fold it in half. I've done this top folding, the portrait shape, but I've also done some landscape ones. Then this paper, uh, so the, the magazine pack also came with some paper. This was eight by eight, so I was able to cut two um, pieces out of that and the strips. And this is when I stopped myself and thought I'll show you this. The strips that were left over on the side, which are yeah two inches wide, you can use them on another card. Either you place them on either end and then have one of the... Um, toppers like the wider toppers just in the middle or you can actually use them as portrait layer them like this and then put a topper in the middle or even fill these areas with some smaller pattern paper or even some plain paper you've got loads of possibilities there this is all for batch card making which I normally don't do but I decided for this project I will do that I will keep it fairly simple, but I thought just for inspiration for you, I'll show you a few more things you can do. Um, my idea is for uh, when I put some sentiment strips on to um, place a strip of vellum across underneath a sentiment. Um, you can tear this along your ruler and have a rough edge. I will just cut this again to keep this short. Um, but loads of ideas then you can put embellishments on I will probably make some cards with these here these are the wooden embellishments I've got loads of these houses so that would work just use some pattern paper I've got some 
they've just got like a snowy print so a really plain not too bold then this would work on those yeah i've got loads of ribbon i could place on what i would do is just let me just demonstrate this i've already glued this down but if they hadn't glued this down yet i would just put it along here put it on the back of the card so i'm sticking down on the card base uh, usually some red tape is good and then place it on the card base and this works nicely just underneath the topper i've got loads of that then i've got wooden embellishments like those i might make a separate video with that but what i've done in the past is just cut a circle out of the card front and just hung this in uh, into the inside just with some clear tape so that people can actually take it out and i had it dangling in a top folding card if you can imagine that so cut a circle out of here place it behind and then have it dangling so loads of ideas i've also got these ones in my stash this year i decided to just declutter my stash just use all these things up i've got loads of ribbon i can use <coughs> pardon me i've got some felt embellishments also i've got another magazine set here with more toppers these are um, I'm not quite sure which magazine is. It's got these clear um, shaker elements in there. It's got some plain cardstock there. So have a look in your stash. Oh, that's another thing. I kept this for years. I bought this for about a pound. These are strips and you can make some garlands with these. But again, I can use them like these strips just on a side of a piece of cardstock. And I actually got some breads that go with this wherever I've put those. So just a few ideas as inspiration. As I said, this is not a tutorial. So have a look through your stash. Maybe you've just got some Christmas cardstock that you want to use up. And yeah, maybe you've got a local charity or care home that you could give these cards to. Maybe even a school. Maybe your sc local school does a craft fair or some sort of fair and could sell them for um, donations so yeah loads of ideas so i will probably at the back end of this video i will show you um my my finished cards but i thought i'd just pop in show you the mess on my craft table oh another little tip when you bulk make cards i'm keeping my glue upside down in this little cup and i've got a plastic cup in here there so if it does leak i can uh, easily dispose of that because if I have it upside down, it's always ready to go. So if I bulk make cards and stick things on, I don't need to worry about um, the glue being at the bottom of the bottle to squeeze it out. So yeah, I think this is all I need to say at the moment. So as I said, I will add another piece where I show you all my finished cards, uh, which I think I will have finished in a I don't know, in a week's time maybe. Of course, I do have other jobs to do. But yeah, just this is just inspiration for you. So apologies, first of all, for my fingernails. I have come down with the flu. I hope I get through this part of the video without coughing too much. But I just wanted to show you how I'm end adding sticker sentiments. I've got these stickers. I had them for years and years. So I thought I might just as well use them up for these cards. So I basically peeled it off and put it on this pokey tool on the silicon side. Any pokey tool would do. And this allows me now to hover it over the card and see where I want to set it down and make sure. By the way, put it in the middle so you hold it equally on either side. And then I can easily place this on here. Quickly need to do this with two more cards and then I'm going to flick through the cards to quickly show you what I have created in the past week. So these are the cards I made from the first set that I showed you with the toppers. Basically just the pattern paper in the background and a sticker sentiment on the top. And with these two I just used the plain tree here but I added instead of putting the die cut pieces on there I just added some rhinestones and again just some sticker sentiments. Um, with these here 
One I did as a decoupage to wreath with the raised bits and one I just did the plain bits but this one came with some gold foil. I don't know if the camera picks it up so that gave me two cards. Then this one was one of the last ones I just used. This piece here and one of the sentiments that came with a set. Um, this one here I actually cut the sentiment down. I think it was a bigger tag. So be creative with the bits that you have in your set. Uh, this again, I used um, two pieces and decoupage different pieces. This one actually, these pieces would have come out, but I stuck them um, with some clear tape from the back so they wouldn't come out and that would give me two pieces with different bits that are raised up. And then, yeah, these basically all the same thing. The same with the car. These are just, um, and, and this one as well. Now this one's a smaller one. But I've got another car here somewhere. Just showing you these briefly. Where's the other car? Oh, there's the other car. So again, one I, no, it's not the one. Anyway, I had one that I, uh, where I just edit these bits and another one where I edit the other bits. I can't find it now. But yeah, so these were all patterned cardstock in the back, the full size. But I used the strips for these cards that were cut off. I put some gold foil here in the middle and used some of the other toppers and just a few elements here. So just to, to give you a few ideas here, I didn't put anything in the background that I combined a few. So just be creative what, with what you have. Then I found in my stash some card bases that I created last year, probably two years ago. Let me just raise my camera just a little bit. Uh, which were these here. It's just basically pattern cardstock. It's got a different pattern on the inside. I had already put a white panel in here. So I used these for this set as well and just put in one of the put on one of the toppers and one of the bit uh, little cards here that was raised up. Same here. I raised up the present and the bow just left it as simple as this here yeah, just added a little gold star for my stash and then I've got this one here then these are or this one here is it the only one I've got you know here are the other ones I made some washi tape backgrounds years ago basically it's uh, strips of washi tape that I uh, folded over behind the panel and then I stuck this panel down on the card base so I thought this would be nice for these felt bears. On this one here, I just added a die cut here, glitter die cut. I had this already. And again, I used some uh, stickers. So I just used up die cuts I had in my stash. Same with these. Um, I had already die cut these. These were from some gift tags and I made a card with those here last year. But I just used what I had in my stash. Used some of my pattern paper. So they were really easy to put together. And these were the ones that I told you about. We've got the dangly element there. So I've just cut um, a circle from the red um, cardstock. Pop this with nice washi tape on the back. I don't know if the camera focuses. My eyes aren't very focused today. And I put a smaller white panel here in the middle. So when the person writes the sentiment, they can write it in there. And it doesn't interfere with the look of this card. So I just made three of these for the three um, wooden elements I had left. And then, whilst I was browsing in my stash for things I had, I found another magazine that I had bought to make Christmas cards and had never used before. Let me find just find the magazine for you to show you what this one was. It's this one here, the Papercraft Essentials, issue 215. And it came with loads of papers and, um, yeah, it says 213 elements. It had loads of toppers on there. Some I had to fussy cut, some were just popping out. So I thought rather than using my other um, things I had thought about, I just used all of these. And then I remembered I had this um, coloured cardstock and it has got a wide core. So this was ideal to... Um, create card bases from that so again I batch made those card bases sorry if you can hear a car alarm in the background it's just outside our pub here 
So I just quickly want to show you these, but I just switched the camera off for another cough. When I was creating the other cards, I was getting to the point where I was overthinking it and I was thinking about it too much for the batch making. So with these, all I did was I um, cut the pattern cardstock, which was 8 by 8 to 4 by 4 squares. And I stuck these all down on the cardstock and then I just added toppers. Some are very similar. Um, and then in it all the flowery ones. And all I did was add a topper. Um, try to have a sentiment on every single card although you know some are very flowery so um, that would work as a birthday card as well I suppose but um, yeah as I said I didn't try I try not to overthink it and just fill these up so I'm just showing you these for some inspiration you might find them a bit too boring but for cards that I'm donating I think these are fine and this is why this is not a tutorial. This is just some inspiration. As I said, some are really the same cards. And better turn them around like this. Try to fill some space in some areas rather than putting the Merry Christmas on this side. I decided to put Santa there. Same here with a nutcracker. So I try to match the toppers to the pattern paper where I could. This could do with the sentiment really. But it was already very busy. So, and this gave me the chance to use loads of them. So that's the one with the stickers. I ran out of sentiment, so I'll just leave this as it is now. It's actually quite a bit busy. It says Merry Christmas on the flowers there. But yeah, I think these are nice for cards to give away. And very cheerful, actually, this set. It's not traditional Christmas colours, but I thought that the, you know, the orange and reds go really nicely with these. And these are all the green ones. This, I just, there were some strips of cardstock, so I just cut these apart for backgrounds. I did that when I was running out of um, pattern cardstock. I just used these strips for the background and that worked fine as well to frame these. At that point, I really was just trying to make as many cards as possible to donate. Yeah, so that's just a little bit of inspiration for you. If you need to batch make cards, um, I definitely won't be buying any more of those magazines because, as you could see, I didn't really use them until now. So, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, I hope next time I'm uploading a video or filming a video, I should say. I hope my um, cold is over by then. If you find a funny edit in this, the videos, because I keep on stopping it to cough in the meantime. I'm going to um, put envelopes with these now and bag these all up. And yeah, um, I'm sure they will be appreciated by the residents in the care home. And I see you soon with another video.